Hello, it's Fiona Bradley coming to you live from Melbourne, your Stampin' Up! demonstrator for Australia uh, with one of my Tuesday tutorials. As usual, I'll just wait uh, for a little while just to see if anybody's around, anyone's coming to watch live. Uh, and if you do say good day so that I know you're there. And I'm just gonna find the uh, live feed on my computer so I can try and watch um, the comments as you come in. So, hmm, not seeing it quickly today. There we go. Um, hi, Tracy, I'm glad you're here. The uh, alarm must have worked for you, Tracy. Okay, why can't I see this coming up? Okay, I think I can see everyone's comments if they come through now. So Tuesday nights are usually quiet night in people's households, so um, glad that people find it a good time to jump on and uh, watch some crafting videos. So for all of you tonight who come and say g'day uh, when you're watching, I have um, this door prize to give away. Uh, I realise you're seeing it back to front, sorry. It's one of the make and takes that we were given at on stage uh, in Sydney. This is the Stampin' Up! kind of convention that happens twice a year. And uh, I was fortunate enough to go along. It's open to any demonstrator. And uh, you get to meet up with hundreds of other demonstrators from around Australia. Uh, the next one's going to be in Melbourne. So if you're a demonstrator, uh, hopefully you'll be coming along to the Melbourne one and uh, you can say good day. So I have this, it's a kit and it makes up this card here. And uh, I didn't make it up when I was there. I thought I would bring it home. Uh, you might need a few other bits and bobs, but um, you can see a bit of a sneak peek into what's coming up. Uh, that's my gift tonight if somebody's around and says hello. I wanted to show a couple of um, colouring and stamping techniques tonight. You would have seen perhaps this card that I made and there was also a Bermuda Bay and I've just realised I've left my Pacific Point at home. Um, Bermuda Bay and Tempting Turquoise was the other one. I made two different colours for this. I entered this into a card challenge called uh, Casey's Sketch and the sketch um, you'll see had you needed to put something up in this corner, something in this corner, and have your sentiment in the middle. And you can interpret these sketches any way that you like. So this was how I chose to um, design my card around that sketch. So card challenges are a really good way to get involved with a, a wider crafting community where you can um, display your uh, design along with other people's and it's a bit of a challenge so there's always a winner at the end of the week um, but even if I don't win I always really enjoy going in it it's a good catalyst for designing something new um, hi Christoph good to see you so um, for this technique I don't know if you can see there very easily but um, the flower has it's not just a straight stamp. So I wanted to show what that's gonna look like when we stamp it up and how to get that. The other one uh, was using the baby wipe technique, which I have shown before, but um, I'm gonna show you again, just to show uh, the best way that you can get that technique to come out in your card. So uh, let's flip you around and um, I'll get started on making those cards for you. Now, let's see if I can position this up without too much hassle tonight. That's it. All right. So I'm going to do the technique you just saw then first and I'll explain. I don't think it has a name, um, but I'll explain that. So you want to use a lighter stamp pad and I thought I might use um, pink pirouette for this and I'm going to use the sweet sugar plum marker to go with it 
Uh, you might also like to say pick mint macaron and that's tranquil tide um, as another couple. So what you want is a lighter background and then you want a darker marker. So you can pair those up in whichever way you want. Here I used uh, Delightful Daffodil, and, or Daffodil Delight, sorry, and I also used Pumpkin Pie. Now, I'm using the flower stamp that comes out of Flourishing Phrases. This is a two, two set stamp, um, two cases I should say. So this is just the first of the cases and I'm using this image here. So to get this effect, you want to ink up your stamp. And I don't think my comments are working. So if you guys are there and you're saying good day, uh, I'm sorry if I'm not saying hello back. It um, it sometimes lags. Hi Sandy, nice to see you. All right, so I've inked up my image, uh, my stamp with the lighter uh, ink color. And then I'm gonna take my marker pen and what I wanted to do was to just draw on it. So literally we're just going to put some ink down. I want some ink in that middle bit. And then I just wanted to sort of flick a bit onto this inner circle of petals. And that just gives me a little bit of color and I hope simulates what a natural flower would look like a bit more. It means that our stamps, and then I just put one little bit in these back ones every other one. Mm, I've got one there. Okay, so when we stamp down, that should come out and you can see it nice and easily on camera. So can you see there, you see there's just that little touch of, of the sweet sugar plum. It's not overbearing but it just adds a little bit of dimension. And where it started to get lighter is because it's picked up the pink pirouette. So actually what you want to do is, oh, wrong end. Oh, that was right end. Just run it off a bit until the color's coming through before you do your next one. So I should really contrast that and show you what it would look like without the sweet sugar plum. So I'll just take that off and this is just pink pirouette by itself. Can you see the difference there? Very, quite plain, still beautiful. I love the color that comes through that, but uh, sort of no dimension that this one gives with just that little bit of coloring. So let's go ahead and make the card up because it's always nice when we make a card up. What I've done for this is, because I'm putting white on white, sometimes it's nice to have actually a much smaller piece for your top layer rather than having a thin border. I've got half an inch all the way around. Thanks, William, you like that one? So, um, ink up your image again. And we're just gonna put some of that sweet sugar plum around to give it a bit of color and in the middle sweet sugar plum is my favorite color I think I love lots of colors in the Stampin Up range but I think this is my current favorite and I'm quite sad because it's about to retire if you want anything in sweet sugar plum make sure you put an order in for it now uh, in my top left hand corner I wanted quite most of the image to be there so a stamp so that it's still a little bit off but we're getting the majority of the flower on our card and then ink up your stamp again and we're just going to go through and add a bit more sweet sugar plum remember as you go if you just wipe off that pink pirouette because it'll lessen the look when we stamp it down. And you'll end up just kind of creating lines rather than putting any ink on. Uh, 
I think um, my my Stampin' Up friends always call me the queen of clean and simple. I don't know if I quite warrant that title, uh, but I certainly it's my style. Clean and simple means a predominantly white page or plain page with little embellishment. So you'll notice that um, I don't tend to put a million things on my cards. Uh, some people can do that really well. I'm not one of them. So this is more what I call my style, clean and simple. I'll put that in a little corner. So balance is something that you learn. I've had to learn as I go how to, um, and, and I think I'm still learning. I think we always learn in craft how I have to learn how to get uh, the balance of a card right so that what you put on the page is um, is offset well. Okay. So I'm using the You're the Best stamp. I'm going to have to stamp it a bit. Maybe so I can see. And then we will just clean off my stamps. So I just use a baby wipe. I also have a stamp and scrub, but tonight I thought I'd use a baby wipe because we're going to be using them later on anyway. Uh, and a quick little wipe is all you need to get rid of the ink. Nice and easy. Sometimes I have people write to me and say, Fiona, I love your cards, but I can't copy them because I just feel I can't leave all that white space empty. And I think just go with what your heart tells you. Always design what suits you. We That's the beauty of craft. There's always um, a style that suits everybody. And what's right for you um, might not really speak to somebody else. So be true to yourself, I say. <laughs> and find your style. And I started off by um, copying a lot of what other people did until I got into a rhythm. And copying things is fine, as long as you always say who it, who it's sort of come from. Um, just like recipes. So, pop that down there. And you could finish it off if you like with a little pearl, but I quite like the flowers to speak for themselves in, in that card. And so I'm going to leave it without any accents. Right, the next sort of um, colouring technique I wanted to show you is what they call, hi Janelle, <coughs> excuse me, good to have you join. And the next technique, you'll, I use um, a takeaway lid, but anything that's kind of plastic will help with this. And get a baby wipe, you could just use kitchen towel if you wanted, but I find a baby wipe just keeps things a little bit moisture obviously uh, and the ink stays better so fold that up a few times because this is actually going to be our stamp pad now i have here um, bermuda bay and this one is tempting turquoise so tempting turquoise is also going to be retiring soon which is a bit of a shame it's a lovely color and these are my reinkers so when you have a stamp pad uh, like this and it, you've been using it and using it and using it it can get a little bit dry so all you do is you open it up and you put a few drops of this in and sort of shake it around or, or squish it in a bit uh, and it gets, gives the stamp pad a new lease of life. But the other thing that you can do with these inkers is to create what I'm going to do now, a bit of a stamp pad. So just add some drops randomly on to the baby wipe. And then we're going to fill in the dots with the other ink that I've got. Now for this one, it doesn't matter too much if there are holes, but I'm going to show you a couple of things when I do this. So, get my flower back again. You can, and you might like to do this with multiple colours, and you can arrange the colours onto the baby wipe as you uh, want it for the image. But if you just do a straight up and down, now, it might not work that great in this lid, but let's give it a try. So that means you're just pushing it down once and then putting it onto the paper. Now you can see there where I had the hole in the dots, 
So you would keep filling it up if you wanted to do that. And you'll see there that the blue to the sort of bluey green is much more pronounced. I didn't want that effect for my flowers. So to, to get a kind of more mottled look, keep going up and down and move the stamp around. And that will mean it just picks up ink from all over that little uh, ink pad that we've made and blends the colours together for us. Can you see there? So this one gives you that sort of almost tie-dyed look and this one is much, I think, smoother and it suits what we're doing for this card a lot better. So that's the look that I created for the card that I put onto my blog and that's what I wanted to make a card with you today using. So, we get my piece of card. Remember that this is cut um, half an inch on all sides smaller than the background card or our base layer. And this one's obviously a lot quicker to do than our first one. And you can see there why you need the plastic underneath it so it doesn't go anywhere all over your nice tablecloth. Okay, those out of the way. And I'm actually going to use my marker because I forgot to get my... Well, thanks, Janelle, you really like it. This was the most popular card. I put it into um, the... Uh, one of the demonstrator groups on Facebook and I said to people which did they like better the yellow one that I created you know with a flick or um, this one and they loved this color I like them both for different reasons but this was definitely the most popular so here I'm showing you how if you don't have your stamp pad with you so this is a really great trick if you're going away on holidays and you don't want to take you know half your craft room with you just take your stamp and blends because you can draw directly onto a stamp uh, and you don't need to have your ink pad so this is specific point I just wanted a slightly darker blue or you know more pronounced blue for the middle so that it sits out from the others uh, and it's it's not exactly the same as what we've just created so that it stands out and that again you just wipe that off with a baby wipe and we're all good so put some stamp and dimensionals onto the back of that now, these cards, once you've got the design down, are quick and easy to make, and I love that. But that doesn't mean that the design was quick and easy to come. So persist with things and um, until you get that right balance and you're happy with it. And sometimes it means starting all over again. You should have seen my craft table. Hi, Carly. I'm glad you love this one. Uh, you should have seen my craft table yesterday. It was, or the other day when I created these cards. I started and I stopped and I did this and I tried that and I chucked this out and my little craft bin was full of things with me starting over. And then I found this pattern and I thought, no, I like it now. We're on a winner. So, just line that up. Pop it down. And there we go. There are two cards. This one was using the baby wipe technique that I told you just now about. And this one here is using that marker flick pen technique um, for a softer look. So this one you definitely need to have uh, a much lighter background with a darker marker. And this too you can mix any two colours that you like. But I do recommend for this type to have... Um, two of similar colours, a similar family of colours. Uh, otherwise, it'll it could kind of just end up brown. So um, always test things out first. So thank you so much for joining me this week. Um, I promise that uh, anyone that came along, I'm going to the door prize for this. So uh, when I finish, I'll make sure that I've caught everybody's comments because I've noticed that. Sometimes people aren't, comments aren't coming up on the live feed. So I apologise if I never say good day. Um, I think it's some setting somewhere and I don't know if it's my end or the user's end. Um, but uh, I want to make sure that everyone has a chance to enter in the draw. So I'll draw that as soon as uh, I've finished and posted the video on my Facebook page. 
Thanks so much for joining me this week. If you've got anything you'd like me to uh, showcase in, uh, in a video tutorial, please send me a message. I'd love to um, be able to help people directly like this. Um, otherwise, I will come up with another uh, hopefully interesting and fun technique or idea or design to show you next week. Have a lovely week of crafting. Bye.